Hey Capricorns, welcome to your reading for Libra season. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages and different kinds of videos I post each month. I will leave information regarding what decks of cards I'll be using and how to contact me for personal readings in the description box along with my Instagram, anything like that that could, that could be going on with you right now. Okay, <laughs> very Libra cards I must say that have jumped out first here. We have the Seven of Swords, Deception and Envy and we have Awareness with mental conflict. Two of swords, very um, Libra cards here, all this swords energy. Be careful you don't start with anxiety attacks, overthinking here. It's like some maybe needing to get hold of negative thoughts. Um, somebody could be deceiving you. If they're playing games with your mind, chances are they're cheating or lying to you here with the Seven of Swords. But it could be somebody's jealous of you, spreading rumours, spreading lies, whatever, because swords are about um, thoughts and words and things like this. So, so is Libra, right? Um, it can cause you to overthink at this time, but you'd end up with this mental conflict and feeling stuck rather than moving forward. So I feel here the message is be aware of your faults. If they start to slip into negativity, pull them back strength card you know tame that inner voice within you um that's causing you to overthink because indecision only holds you back so just be aware at this time okay maybe it's just the season um you know where's the moon at things like that um how it's affecting you so i feel like you could be all up in your head during this time capricorn be careful it doesn't turn into the nine of swords there um if you think somebody's cheating maybe listen to um your intuition there and call them out on it speak don't just let it build up and think about it and think about it ask them chances are your intuition is right let's see here capricorns what's going on in libra season for capricorn that is um it may be that you just believe you meet somebody new and you just think they're cheating because of the old way you was treated. But, you know, just be aware that if it's your thoughts or if it's your intuition. OK, so we have the two of ones now. Seems like you're at a crossroads. You're about to make a decision here, but you could start overthinking, which leads to that indecision, that mental conflict. So those of you who are not acting or making a decision, you could end up with sleepless nights here. Your intuition's trying to tell you something, trying to give you the answer. Um, trust it, okay? Trust it. Honour your intuition and your beliefs here. Um, so, yeah, two of ones that some of you may be held back if you don't act now. Let's see. Eight of Swords now, yeah, you're just tying yourself up with thoughts. Um, I feel like here somebody could be playing mind games with you. So if your intuition told you, for an example, somebody's cheating, somebody's lying, I kind of feel like they're lying. I'm usually right about these things, but I love them. So I'm not going to, I'm just going to give them the benefit of the doubt. You end up overthinking at this time and feeling stuck. It could be that you're obsessing about somebody at this time or somebody's obsessing about you. So this could be um, a liar or somebody who deceived you, obsessing about you, thinking, OK, what shall I tell them? You know, do they believe me? Those sorts of things are going on during Libra season. I'm not surprised seeing all the swords. Eight does suggest balance and needing a change. Your eighth house is about transformation. So change the way you're thinking here. Don't just hold yourself back up with thoughts. Make a decision and act on what you've decided here. Again, here we have the card number one, which was the awareness card. Um, the alchemist in this deck, the magician in the normal deck. Um, it's saying you have everything you need um, to create what you want to create, to create your own future here. You are the manifester 
you are in control of your future here. So I feel like it's about you gaining control of your thoughts, knowing what you want, and then you can manifest it or then you can decide here. Because look, he's looking through a book as well here. So it's like you're looking for answers um, to something. Maybe is my partner cheating on me? Something like that. So you're looking for these answers and because you're not acting, you're coming up with this mental conflict and overthinking. So then not acting. Some of you will decide and act. Some of you may have done it in Leo season and decided to act. Um, if that's the case, um, somebody's obsessing about you this way. Three of pentacles. But the power is within you here to... Pull back your strength, pull back your power here and rebuild your foundation. Start getting that forward solid movement that you want. If only you can stop this mental torture that you have going on. Somebody could be doing this to you. They may be in a third party situation. Your intuition is telling you something's off with this person. Um, and this is why we see you looking for answers with the magician. OK, so. Trust your intuition. Trust it. If you believe there's a third party, there probably is here um, because it does seem like you have all the answers here on the table. He's looking in the book, but he has the Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Swords. You have all the answers. Um, your intuition is telling you. So some of you may have took steps to find out if somebody was deceiving you in any sort of way, because it can be with business as well. Um, and you guys will manifest now um, a better foundation here, manifest something solid. Um, whereas some of you may have not listened to your intuition and um, you end up finding out about the third party anyway. So it could be that, you know, you have a tower moment during this time. It's Libra season is about being judged and bringing things into balance. So if something's off balance here um, within a relationship, the divine sort of steps in and, um, you know, helps people to see what they feel like they're not seeing because our eyes are blindfolded here. So sh you may feel like, no, I don't have all the answers, but... I have a feeling like some people are going to have a tower moment. Seven of Pentacles reverse. So this is like you've been putting into this relationship. You've been building up this garden, um, you know, really tending to this relationship and putting in the hard work. And you keep thinking, why is nothing ever coming from this? Because um, you're the only one doing it. Right. This person is not putting into the relationship the way you are. They're not here in this picture doing the gardening with you here. So, um, yeah, I feel like nothing can grow if only one person's putting in something else to be aware of. Right. I don't mean that somebody has to put into you. I mean, if you are in a relationship, both have to put into a relationship. I said it. I felt a tower come in and this is it. And remember, this doesn't have to be in a romantic relationship. It can be in a business or a family relationship as well. Um, but here it is. The tower is coming. When we refuse to acknowledge something with our intuition, like I said, the divine will step in with a tower and it's like things will be brought to light. Sorry, the light is coming out now, the sun. Yeah. The sun will expose people, right? Um, it's like what's done in the dark will come to the light. So a tower here, something surprising, something um, you're not expecting. So it can be the breakdown of this relationship, whether it's a business relationship, a friendship, or it's um, a romantic relationship. can be even with children or family. The moon. <laughs> Yeah, it always happens. I call them before they come. Um, so, yeah, what's done in the dark will come to the light. That's the moon exposing lies and secrets. Things that people are trying to do behind your back will now be brought to the light here. 
You find out their secrets and find out that this is going nowhere because you're the only one putting in awareness, realisation here. But don't get stuck in that mental conflict. I feel like you have deep feelings and deep investment with the seven of pentacles and the moon here um, because you've been working hard. You know, so I, I do understand that it's hard to trust your intuition at times because of fear. Also, the moon can be fear of learning the truth. Trust your intuition here. It's like your angels, your guide, the universe, the divine was trying to make you aware of something, a liar, a cheat, and... You ignored it and now, boom, the tower. For those of, for those that did ignore it, like I said, there's some that have stopped putting in. They made a decision with the two of wands and acted. So the seven of pentacles is them walking away from the situation. And of course, cross watchers, this message can be for you. It may be a Capricorn that's done it to you. Um, but yeah, this is no longer investing in this situation it's come to a halt here with the tower an ending is happening so what you need to know will be revealed to you during libra season i know it can be difficult the tower this can cause your spiritual awakening also and we have multiple awakenings ace of wands reverse so when the, when you find out um these secrets this person might block you here or you might block them if you're the one acting okay um because they're not going to take the opportunity to reach out to you and talk to you now they've been exposed i feel like you might try and ask for answers with the eight of swords here but you won't get them they're going to block you or something here they're going to now stop investing full stop it might be that they actually leave with the third party here they may have been holding back and deciding between you both at one stage um but now they the towers come in and you found out they might just leave with the third party because it's the easier option okay guys the hermit so you end up soul searching. You end up in hermit mode again. I mean, you, you might be sick of hermit mode, um, but it's like maybe you feel like there's one thing after another. I'll tell you what, when we're clearing um, karma and ascending and on this spiritual journey, it actually it gets harder because the higher we ascend, the quicker we clear karma. But it's sending you into hermit mode here. Hermit is nine, related to your ninth house, which is philosophy, um, long distance travel. So you might start even watching documentaries about faraway countries and start, you know, thinking outside the box and, you know, sharing different opinions like that while you're in hermit mode. You know, you're seeking answers from somewhere. Princess of Pentacles, and here you are. Um, it's a learning curve. You'll learn a lot from this situation. It can feel like you're almost back at square one. You invested a lot into this garden and here you are with your seed again, <laughs> wanting to plant all this greenery behind you. And you feel like I've done all the work. So why did I end up back at square one? Because look at all this greenery that is, is behind her and this beautiful scenery. Um, yeah, she feels like, you know, why did I plant all these seeds to end up in hermit mode and left by myself? Somebody please explain this. Okay, but you have the strength to go ahead and start planting seeds again here. And again, this is blocked communication with the Ace of Wands reverse. So I feel like um, they could they could block you at this time. As soon as their secret's exposed, They'll run away to the easiest option and block you. There's a lot for you to learn in hermit mode. Um, 
and a beautiful new beginning will come from this. But I guess it's not good to feel back at square one. If we can see in the corner there, the sun um, rising even. So again, with that sun and clarity coming out from learning new information. Oh, good luck, guys. 